Welcome to another episode of Trending Gist. I'm your host, Shine Nino. I love the spotlight. And with me in the house, Oluwan Nifemi Adebayo is my name, but you can call me Nifi. Welcome to another beautiful time on Trending Gist. Today, we're going to give you as it is hot. Just stay tuned. Yes, let's get right into it. We're going to be talking firstly about the process that has been going on around the country. We have seen places like Lagos, Ondo State here, Kano, Niger, a, a whole lot of places in the country mm. that have been conducting peaceful protests against the hardship in the country. Nifi, did you hear about this? Yes, I heard about it. And a lot of people have been coming out to say that uh, the Nigerian masses are actually suffering. You know, despite the fact that uh, our governments are coming out to say that they are trying their best and it's just like uh, their best is not seen, like you're not seeing anything with all the promises that they have come out to tell us. So, uh, you know, in Akure and other places, just like you have mentioned, uh, people came out to protest the hardship that they are, you know, going through, especially on food items. If you go to the markets recently, now everything is, in fact, so cost. Everything don't go high. It's out and, of it. And the only thing that uh, people are really talking about is for the fact that the dollar is rising and falling. And this is the question that is on the lips of so many Nigerians, asking why we are comparing our naira to the dollar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More news about this this dollar rising. Mm. People had people. I I heard a funny 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 comment okay. on this dollar where, where the, the, this lady said the dollar is fluctuating as bad as her hormones. Anyway, <laughs> that aside, but it really is bad because in a week it can rise like five different times. And the worst part of it is that if you go to buy um a product in the market today yeah. and then the dollar rises, mm -hmm. right? We, we do know it's going to drop a bit. Mm -hmm. It won't drop to the original price. Yeah, it's going to drop a bit. But the next time you go to the market, it won't drop when the dollar drops. Mm -hmm. It will remain static at that position where the dollar well, rose to and mm -hmm. then wait until the next time the dollar rises to mm -hmm. increase again. I tell Why you, is that the situation I, I in the you. country? And so many people are also talking about the fact that... Um, is it not that we Nigerians are the one that are doing ourselves? Like say now we they do ourselves. Honestly. Because you can imagine somebody that owns a farm in his or a backyard, mm -hmm. and you come out to sell those uh, the produce from that your uh, from your farm. I take you to the market to sell. You will say, ah, uh -uh, mommy. This thing now 100 naira before. Now, why is it now 150? Ah, dollar has gone up. This thing now 100 naira before. Now, why are you selling it so the dollar has gone up? For the fact that you have this produce from your backyard and bringing it down to the market. So, most times, it just feels like we Nigerians are our own problem. As much as we know that the government has a part to play and they have a huge part to play, at the same time, we Nigerians, we they give ourselves too much or a Honestly, much. it boils down to greediness and wickedness. Because mm. why would you, as a business person, Person, be getting 400 percent mm. in profits over 400 percent as a businessman over your products which you know are sold and produced locally mm. it's actually out of it because let's think about it you you want you you, you uh, you're a business person you're selling your products making it locally everything locally yeah. and you're complaining that the dollar is rising how yeah. is that supposed to affect you are not an international market person yeah. you're a local <laughs> at local Rodo, producer <laughs> at Rodo kind of market person yeah. and you're telling me the dollar is going bad now wow. we could think about this we could give this we could give an idea to the government but come on let us be factual as let us be as realistic as possible yeah. here if we want to complain to our government and give them the idea that they yeah. should start sh um, sanctioning business people who are getting too much profits over their business mm. is that going to work because c think about the governments mm. that cannot account for the money the efcc have collected <laughs> and see that one we just okay it's another story for another day because if you start talking about that one people will still link it to corruption and all of we that just have just to mention. Don't let go there. and some people are also of the opinion that uh these protests that are coming up that are going on that people are just trying to sabotage uh, sabotage the government of the day oh. like the present administration of our president president Bola Ahmed Tinubu. so some people are saying that some people are financing the protest and all of them are coming out oh to just sabotage God. the government but in any ways we don't have the opinion let's just have your opinion let us know mm -hmm. what you feel about mm -hmm. this thing mm -hmm. because nigerians are fed up we are tired i don't tire like everything don't tire. i am like, very it's tired just, it's and just tiring okay, you know thinking about um saying that someone somewhere is funding the protest is yeah. absolutely ridiculous because mm. who is not feeling this Hardship. They really should go there. They complain. The margin is just so <laughs> wide right, in right. the class system. It's gone out of control. Mm -hmm. But to say that someone somewhere is funding the protest is 
out of it. Because think about you it. You might say that. Think you know, about some it. Some people might actually say that. Okay. that. Some people are protesting. They are funding the Well, protest. that is just ridiculous. It is possible. This thing is just possible. You don't mean it. If just that, it, it, yeah, there was a time that we were talking about it one time that some people are somewhere uh, financing the kidnapping that is happening in the country. And it is true. Hmm. Even if it's not confirmed, but it is true. If some people are not making money from this thing, these things will not be happening. So I can say that it is possible that some people are actually, you know, funding this protest in order to sabotage the present government, uh, the, the, the government of President Gola It is just it is, sad. It is, it is, it is as sad as, uh, as it is. So, but what I'll, I'll just say is that Nigerians should just stop this act of, you know, putting prizes on the uh the things that you are saying that you feel like you can just help us we won now if you are actually you know uh trying to make sure that we live as one in the country we should live and you know work towards you know getting that this unity, unity that and unity. making yeah. sure everybody survives mm -hmm. this time we go survive and this time amen. it's the past <laughs> amen but <laughs> nigerians are just seen to hardship Ew. you push you stop you know, say our body, we suit their adjust. No. Anything will happen like this. Just I rebuke adapt. it and reject it. I don't want to adapt. To Asha, bala, 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 bala. I, I reject this for my people. <laughs> please, please, we have to stop this. We have yeah. to try and be better people. Mm -hmm. We have to try and look forward to making Nigeria great. Yes, so, yes, so. Honestly, yes, so. if some people are sitting somewhere saying it is not their business as long as I'm buying, mm -hmm. do you think you'll still be buying in the next eight at years? All, at all, at all, at all. So um, let's just uh, let us know your opinion in the comment section. Let, what do you think about it? Uh, what can we even tell the government to do now? It's not like the government don't know what to do anyway, but it's just the will to do the right thing, okay? And for the people as well, uh, as Nigerians, let us do the right thing because doing the right thing is just the best thing for us to do. Mm -hmm. At the federal level, do the right thing. State level, do the right thing. Local level, do the right thing. As an individual, do the right thing. If you think you have no encouragement, we're encouraging you wherever you are to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. if, if there's anybody trying to fight you to not do the right thing, fight the person. Fight back. I am right behind you. <laughs> All right, guys, let us know your view and your opinion on this in the comment section. What do you feel about this? What else do we have to tell the government? It's not like the government don't know what to do anyway. It's just that maybe the will to do the right thing. So let us have your opinion in the comment section and we'll be here to read them and, you know, make use of it appropriately. Yes, we'll, we'll shout it to the, to the needed places. Yep. Until next time we come your way again, don't forget, we are the ones to bring you the trending G. Yes, so, and my name is Oluwani Femi Adebayo. Thank you for watching and I'm Shine, you know I love the spotlight and I love you. Yep. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe for more videos.